<laughs> so, a woman who married Ragdoll says relationship is hanging on a thread after he cheated. I don't think she but she did that pun. Uh, on December 18th, 2021, the smitten couple tied the knot in a wedding ceremony attended by 250 guests. Fuck off. Um, now, how many of those are people? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because she's counting a fucking doll as a husband. She's yeah. definitely included them in the guests. Yeah. Oh, this is one of our guests. Uh, fucking Detective Pikachu. <laughs> when people, when people is... come and someone's going... Uh, bride side or groom side? <laughs> do you reckon, do you reckon, <laughs> fucking beanie baby getting kicked over to the groom side. Do you, any, do you reckon any of the guests sat on a cushion and they were like, that's the maid of honour? <laughs> <laughs> He's big and he's... <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to. No, no, we've started. We've, we've started. started. Yeah, hi. Right. Hi, you big fat gun. Hi. Uh, you You're thought right. you could sneak past it then, didn't you? You wanted to try and do a jingle, didn't you? I've got you? a little jingle for you. Go on. He's big and he's fat and he's gay, Freddie Quinn. <laughs> what do you reckon? Uh, fine with being gay. I know, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah? It's all accurate. Yeah. Well, it's not, is it, really? Uh, I don't think I'm that. Big or fat? I think I'm just. I think it's just relative. Yeah. Small, thin, gay Freddie Quinn. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I would prefer. I think that's what you. I think th- those are the words that you used to describe yeah. Freddie Quinn. A mm. small, thin, <laughs> gay man. Yeah. If you're listening to the audio only, uh, you want a picture Freddie. Just a little twink. That's yeah. what we're dealing uh, with. Picture, picture Freddie Mercury, but at the end of the film. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I liked about Bohemian Rhapsody. You could tell how long there was left in the film by how much Freddie Mercury's AIDS had set in. Yeah, it's like Philadelphia's <laughs> got its own built-in countdown timer, exactly. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The minute that he's uh, walking around the house in a big coat, you're like, well, there's not long left, there's 10 minutes. Yeah. There was like a whole genre of like uh, like gay films for ages where like, you know, it was like, it was, they were like zombie films, like someone would get bitten and not tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but then when they were turning, they were going like, oh, oh, they were like turning what? into a zombie. But, but, turning... but also a mank at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so they get bitten by Liam Gallagher. And then the spice. <laughs> oh no, I've been bitten by a zombie. <laughs> it's proper mad that. <laughs> what accent was that? You and Geordie. <laughs> Don't know. I'm usually all right with accents, but not today. That was a fucking right whiff, that. Uh, wow. A right whiff. Yeah. Is what? that reference about me being gay, is it? No. <laughs> I don't even know how. <laughs> Do we need to start again? I think no, we might. No, 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 we're carrying on. Okay. It's going to be one of those episodes. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Why, who, why are you looking at me when you're saying this? Because I feel like you, you, you take charge of this more than I do. Yeah, I am more dominant. I wouldn't say you're dominant. You're actually a little bitch, if anything. Mm. You are. You're a little. You're a little bitch that just likes comfort. I do like comfort. Exactly. Too, there yeah, you yeah. go. Whereas I like chaos and anger. <laughs> Those are you more don't like physical tricks. effort, though. No, I like. I like mental chaos and anger. Yeah, mental but, chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I wake up in the morning. I get my emails and I just delete seven of them, just <laughs> randomly. Just start. Oh man, just, he's on the fucking edge. Some people just day, want to watch right? the world burn. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh man, this guy's not going to know about the latest offers from ASOS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, take that RAC. I don't want updates on my policy. I put, I put something in spam. No idea. Yeah, just fuck it. Could be important. Yeah, could be from me. I was gonna say could be from me mum. My mum doesn't send me emails. Yeah, do you know the spam folder isn't? <laughs> and if she did, they go right in the fucking spam, <laughs> straight in the spam. I love the idea that for Freddie, the spam folder is where he puts all his favourite emails. It's like it's spam. spam it's spam. called spam. I, so that must be where the nice things go. Okay, so here's why. I've got junk food. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's, see, I'll put this one into my hot dog folder. <laughs> see, see, junk was better, but you know full well that I would not eat spam. I don't know full well you wouldn't eat you, spam. Of course you would. A picky man like me is not eating meat from a tin. Have you ever eaten a hot dog? Well, sorry? Have you ever eaten a hot dog? Uh, I am very specific <laughs> about the hot dogs that I will or won't eat. I am right. the same. I only want hot dogs that are proper sausages. Thank I you. I don't want those cinema shitty rubber hot dogs. So, they smell mingy. Thank you. So I, I love a sausage. I all. <laughs> <laughs> I refer you to my jingle. Yep. That's why they call me a proper whiff. Uh, so uh, I love a sausage, but it has to be a fucking A-grade butcher's sausage. Yeah. Fucking really top of the line. 
and I love it. I get all my, I try and get as much meat as I can from butchers anyway. Good tip for you to live your life. Um, but uh, anything like a Richmond sausage or anything like that, I'd sooner fucking shove it up my arse than in my mouth. Well, yeah, but that's a different story, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, you're still getting the calories. <laughs> no, I, I would. Do you suggest that my body just breaks it down? Yeah, it just absorbs in it. In the anus. Yeah, just, just sucks it up. <laughs> just squeezing mustard up his arse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, no. My arse sneezes. <laughs> That's what Paula Radcliffe was trying to do when she shit herself. <laughs> she saw one of those little hot dog carts on the corner. <laughs> she, used to have to, she put an energy gel up there. Richmond are different to a hot dog, though. You know, it's a different a, genre. No, it's not a different genre. It is to like it's a, a different to a sub-genre. To a different no, but to like a shitty hot dog, like a Frankfurter, that's different to a Richmond. A Richmond okay. is a terrible sausage, so, I agree. So those shitty little rubbery sausages that have got like thick brown skin. Like Young's or whatever, like they the tin. Can, yeah, they yeah. can... For, right. If, I used to love that. If you could uh, pick up a sausage and it'd wiggle like massively, those aren't what you want to eat. You like a dildo. Eat, yeah, like dildo sausages. Yeah. What you want is like proper... Meaty cock sausage, cock yeah. sausage. Yeah, no, I agree. Those sausages are better, but it's also, I just think it's a different thing. Sometimes you I don't know what you're city. talking about. You're a vegan. You gave up well, your right to vote. I'm vegetarian. Yeah, I have opted out of the game. A yeah, yeah, yeah. Ago, but I do remember eating meat. You're you know? a conscientious objector when it comes to shit like this. Yeah, in the war between us and the animals. Yeah, I am objecting. Do you know what I saw? And it made me think of you actually. Um, so a very sexy man. No, it was uh, it was a child with no dad. Um, <laughs> I saw it's a single tear just down his face. Just drove past the orphanage and went, hey, hey. <laughs> that reminds me of someone. Yeah. Robert, love it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call him. Oh, <laughs> Patreon special. Yeah. Well, going to an orphanage. <laughs> Can we go going... to an orphanage for a Patreon special? No. <laughs> Can you do a talk? Because I'll just be there like relating to them all. They'll just be like, ah. But what if, what if you were to do a talk for them? What, do a talk about, I'm not an orphan though. I had a lovely mum. I'll be taking, in the in the land of the blind, don't, the one-eyed wait, wait, man is king. Wait, wait, wait. Don't put any of this in your talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not an orphan. I have a lovely mum. Yeah, I show up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come here to brag, have you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think any of the orphans want to hear about my struggles of having one parent, to be honest with you. <laughs> Do they have orphanages now? Yeah. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen an orphanage. I don't, Where I, are they? I don't know if they like have like a massive sign on the side saying orphanage. I think they'd probably be like, they'd, they'll call them something different now. Oh, yeah, they? like like uh, uh, St. Peter's School for like Wayward a, Girls. It'd just be like a residential home and they won't be like, yeah. I don't think they're huge. Okay, so not like St. Peter's School for Wayward Girls then? No, it's not going to be quite <laughs> as sexy as you were hoping it would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think they're getting spanked with wooden rulers like they are. Oh, uh, they are. Do they wear little kilts? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> so what reminds you of me, anyway? Um, I have no idea. Was, oh, <laughs> was it outside no, a, no, a car dealership, those men that got... The, the... No, I'll... <laughs> no, I do have that vibe. No, I'll yeah. tell you what it was, going back to veganism. Oh, right. So I saw this viral... I'm also not vegan, you know, let's... Vegetarianism, it's the same fucking thing so it's not um it's expressly oh, no not. it's not to you people but to all of us it is it's the right. same fucking shit you've got that overinflated sense of self and you don't eat stuff because of morals it's the same shit because that's an infl inflated sense of self yes so You're just gonna move on from that with no explanation i'll tell you, what, you, know I tell you what's no. also an inflated sense of self <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for the benefit of our audio listeners, uh, producer Tom did a little uh, inflatable... homophobic dance. That was being homophobic one of the wavy dance. arm guys. That was being one of the wavy arm guys. Homophobic like, dance, just... and uh, as a massive whiff, I am offended. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, right? Uh, it was a video going around on Twitter. Uh, people going mad at Lidl because the chickens are not like raised properly. They're really badly neglected in these yeah. Spanish farms. And it's like, oh, and the two pound chicken didn't have a good life. Well, Hell fucking surprise. Well, well, it was a guy who, and it was clearly quite a shocking video or whatever. It was a guy literally hitting a chicken <laughs> against a bucket, right? Yeah. So he had this chicken, this chicken was like, Meh, and he just- <laughs> Such I, I, sad, bedraggled chickens, aren't they? Jao Paulo or whatever on fucking- Jao Paulo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his actual name. Right, where's uh, he from? Uh, Spain. 
Um, right. I was hoping it'd be from Sao Paulo. <laughs> 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 he gets that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird that that name just came to you fully formed, wasn't it? Out of nowhere. Joe Polo. <laughs> yeah, his favourite football club, Jantos. Yeah. <laughs> he does have a brother called Rio. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, just hitting a chicken against a bucket. All right, little chicklet. Like that. He was just twatting it against the bucket. Are you all right? I felt nothing. Yeah. And then there was another chicken that was led on its back. I can't breathe. Are you, are you, <laughs> why is this are you the end of Just have some water. Stop drinking pop. This is the problem. And yet, I'm instantly better. So, behave. Uh, so. Oh, look, he's a new man. <clears throat> Oh, you sound a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Look at this picture of health over here. Do you remember when we talk about AIDS films? How they have that, that, that bit where they're a little bit ill. You've been gay for 20 minutes, you've got AIDS. <laughs> Just speeding everything up. Uh, so. Freddie Merquinney. Yeah, yeah, Good. thanks. Good. Uh, yeah, anyway, long story short, it was loads of chickens being abused yeah. and they were like twitching and dying and mm. stuff. And this guy, was, oh, there was this thing where this guy just kept feeding chickens to these big dogs and stuff like that, yeah. like the fucked up ones. And I felt nothing. Yeah. And I wasn't. I, I, am, I am shocked that you didn't feel empathy or emotion. Yeah, but it made me think of you because I was yeah. like, Rob would be asked about this. Yeah. Like, that was literally what I thought. I was yeah. like, Rob would care. Yeah. You're like, yeah. yeah, I do. Like, I care about, like, chickens aren't, like, the number one one that I give a shit about the most. They weren't, Wow, like... animal racism. Well, yeah, a bit like some of them are, you know, some of them are, it's worse to be cruel to them than others, I think. I think, like, ones that are more empathetic have more understanding like of what? what's happening. Like, a pig, it's worse because they're, they're very empathetic. They know what's happening to them. They know what's happening to other animals. Under they understand it more, so it's worse. doesn't mean it's not bad to fuck up a chicken. Yeah. But, like, it's worse to do it to something more empathetic, I, I would think. choke out a pig yeah. in front of its family. I mean, I don't think like, you could. Like, like, I would literally grab... I don't think you could. I'd Khabib... You're nowhere near agile enough to grab a pig. I would Khabib nugga-mugga-nugga-dev. Okay. Yeah, no, we're just moving oh, on. I'm sorry, that. have I missed a letter? I, I think you've added a few. Was the... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sounds like you're getting fucking choked. No, I would. I'd choke. I'd choke. You probably want to tap to that cough, mate. <laughs> uh, I don't think. I don't think you could choke a pig. I think you underestimate how big pigs are. Pigs are fucking yeah, big yeah. old beasts. Nah, I'd they've got fine. enormous bollocks. Pigs like a pig bollocks like that. And that's where I hit them. Right. Yeah. To be fair, Kabow. they do have a good target there. Kabow! Yeah. like yeah. that. And then whilst the pig's like, "Oh, why? I'm going to get behind it, choke it out yeah. in front of its wife and kids," which yeah. would be, feel very sorry for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, they'd be gutted, but I don't care. Yeah. Because look, there's no hypocrisy in uh, eating animals if you're happy to. Get... In fact, I'd prefer killing them. Yeah, yeah. Like, look, like this. It's not about hypocrisy though. That's not the only thing that can be bad. Like, you know, I don't think it's hypocritical to murder someone necessarily, but I think it's bad if you're like, I like murdering, or if you're like, hey, I'm I'm big Timmy rape. I love <laughs> raping. The thing about me is, Sorry. I can't get enough of rape. So you're big Timmy rape. Big Timmy rape. That's nominative determinism. Exactly, mate. Yeah, it, I mean, it's more like, hi, I'm big Timmy rape. Big Timmy rape. <laughs> I'm gonna bloody get ya. Big Timmy rape. Thing about me is, oh, I love didgeridoos and I love rapes. Right. So I'm not a bloody hypocrite, though, am I? Right. But, so, so you, know, so, so the you see my point. Yeah, yeah, Hypocrisy yeah. isn't the only the, way you can... It's not the worst crime, is it? The, yeah. the murder thing always gets thrown around. Uh -huh. It's not... Eating animals isn't murder. It literally isn't. I mean, like, I, I think like that, like, you know, that language inflames people like you, so I think it's probably not worth using. No, but, but it literally isn't. It, by I mean, it definition... Is, it, is, it, is, it is killing. Okay. Yeah, but killing. Killing, yeah, yeah. But killing them, denying that. Yeah, but kill, what, what, but what is murder? I'll tell you what murder killing is. Someone it's, the same it's, when, it's when a person kills another yeah, person. Yeah, that's fine then. Well, that's have, the definition. have a different word for it. I don't give if a shit about the word. This it, is an argument you're making up. I don't give a fuck about this. Well, animals kill animals all the fucking time. Yeah, but we, we should hold ourselves to and a I'll slightly higher standard. And I'll tell I you think. what, I'll tell you what, if fucking animals, if let's say the world went differently and uh, rabbits were in charge. They'd fucking eat people all the goddamn time. Right. They'd nibble their fucking eyeballs. Right. So that that's so logically incoherent, you know, as an argument. Just also, because... rabbits are vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but the way that you get to the top is by having a taste for blood. Right. right. 
Also, you realise I also don't give a fuck what you eat. Like, I'm not like proselytising to anyone. The reason I don't eat meat is because it makes me sad. I'm not affecting anything massively. The world's a big place. I don't care. Yeah, to be fair, you're one of the less preachy vegetarians. Thank you. That I've yeah, ever... I just I don't give a shit what anyone it's else like, does. It's like I'm getting your pronouns. I know. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I just uh, and I think in general that's the like the, that's a big distinction. Vegetarians in general are a lot more chill. Like if you go on like the vegan Reddit. It's fucking insane. Someone has an egg and everyone loses their fucking mind. They're like, you're disgusting. Whereas on the vegetarian one, someone will be like, I got pissed and had four Big Macs. And they'll be like, try again tomorrow, mate. You oh, know? It's, it's like the difference between uh, Islam and Catholicism. It's like, Ooh, it's like strap in, folks. It's, no, it's what it's like. It's like I do not endorse this analogy. <laughs> no, I want to no. be very clear. It's like the difference. You're talking about Islam on a podcast it's, again, are you? Like Is this what you're doing? Difference. Rolling them dice. It's, it, no, after the message you got just before this. Podcast. It's like it's like the difference between Ramadan and Lent. So Ramadan is like, dude, you can't eat anything during daylight hours. You really got to take this shit seriously. Whereas Lent is like, try and give one thing up. And if you can't, well done. Yeah. Well done for giving it a go. I don't know if your characterization of Catholicism as a cuddly, nice, lenient religion quite flies, but I see what you're saying. You see what I mean, though? Like, like there are certain religions that you've got to take more seriously than others. Yeah. Fucking. But that, you know, there are moderate Christianity in every is a fucking, it's a Sunday morning religion. But you know, it, it, it is, isn't it? If that. Let's be yeah. real. Yeah, exactly. There are people who say they're Christians that haven't been to church in fucking years. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, like I, th- I think that there how many are also people, moderate how many, Muslims. How many people do you reckon is like, oh, I'm a devout um, member of Islam? Oh, when was the last time you prayed? <sighs> Don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, like that's a religion that you take. Yeah, but no serious. one, no one would say they were a devout Christian, and also I haven't been to to, to church in ages. I think you're making two separate arguments. Oh, so right. they would take I think you're just being a away. big racist, is what you're being. And I think you need to apologise. Well, not right now. Yeah. No. You're not going to apologise now. You're going to wait for the backlash. Well, no, I th- I don't think there is a backlash. I think that I've actually given a, a compliment. I've said it's a religion that you have to take seriously. Let's see what the Muslim community has to say about it. Like, that's so fine. Seeing, they, so always, seeing, they always take my side. Yeah, they've always been traditionally very fond of you. So uh, let's see how that goes. What's your favourite religion? My favourite religion? Um, I don't like any of Well, Well, <laughs> I don't like any of them, really. There's a, there's a, there's a group of nuns in America who grow weed on their uh, in their nunnery. That. That that's the yeah. religion I like. They're like it's a magical herbal plant from God. I like Hinduism. Yeah, I think that one's sick. All the yeah. animals and that. Satyrs cool. is pretty fun. Nah, no, yeah, it's psychology. just a black, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah, just like the bit where you can abuse people, don't you? Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. the main bit for me. That's the main bit. They said you're going to have to give us all your money, and I went, oh. And they went, you're going to have to devote all your time, and I went, oh. And they went, but you get to abuse people, and I went, oh. Yeah. What if they went? But you got to have a jog. If you, no. if you if you jog no. for ten minutes, all the abuse you want at the other end of it. Oh yes, yes. All right then. All right, how long can we push it for then? Let's uh, let's see. Let's see. This might be a way we can finally get Freddie in shape. If we just can we traffic like one kid just to like <laughs> dangle on a stick in front of Freddie while he's on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Can we traffic one kid? Yeah, it's like, oh, Mr. Queen, no, don't catch me. It's like your Peloton. Sorry, sorry, it's like you... your Peloton, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Pedoton. Oh, it's so fucking funny. Pedoton. <laughs> Whereabouts is uh, this this kid from? <laughs> He's from foreign. Okay, so can it's I just from, can I just quickly week, I can I just quickly change the language on this kid? Okay. Okay. What uh, are you ordering? I, I'm ordering Eastern European. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Queen. Okay. Yeah. 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 Run, run faster yeah. than you can abuse please, my ass. Please do not catch my bum. <laughs> no, no. I have never had anything in I have never so much as had big poo. <laughs> like Freddy's like the, running like the fucking Terminator. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Yeah. I can run like the wind blows. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be what it is. You know when his, his braces snap off and I'm just... Run, Freddy! <laughs> <laughs> Rocky training montage. <laughs> Just him abusing a bit of meat. <laughs> finger in meat. He's got to try and catch a chicken and stick his finger up its ass. <laughs> oh, wow. Final shot him running up the steps of an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, speaking of weird sex fantasies. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, you heard. 
It's such an. Uh, you'd think I'd be used to it by now, but it's always such I an. I fucking abrupt. come from angles. <laughs> I come a... from different angles. You never see me yeah. coming. The old Quinn food. My, my my segues are like Manny Pacquiao's punches. <laughs> <laughs> they just come at weird angles. You can't expect them. Uh, right. Okay. Go on to the email that I sent you. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't click on the first one. Uh, go on the email that I sent you and go on the middle one, Ragdoll. Uh huh. Sl- slightly worried after what you said. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, shut up. No, no. So, a woman who married Ragdoll says his relationship is hanging on a thread. <laughs> After he cheated. I don't think she she did that pun. I don't think she was that clever. It's got quotation but, marks. But yeah, it does say quotation marks, yeah. What is so absolutely brilliant is the picture of that ragdoll is fucking amazing. Have you ever seen Arrested Development? Do you know Franklin from yeah. Arrested <laughs> Development? It ain't easy being white. It ain't easy being black. Oh, God. It's... Why would you choose a ragdoll with a mullet? <laughs> it's the most Australian-looking puppet. She is in danger at the moment. That puppet is going to fucking get her. Well, you want to know something absolutely fucking mental about this? What? Oh, there's something mental about this woman who married a raggy doll? <laughs> the f- yeah. <laughs> Do I want to know something mental like it hasn't it, already happened? Honestly, it looks like fucking Rosie and Jim have grown up, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks a bit like Aussie comedian Ro Campbell. <laughs> Shout out, Ro. <laughs> you know Lou and Andy from Little Britain? Yes, it, looks it like does Lou. actually. And she looks like Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, her mum made this for her. What? So it's Raggy Doll Incest. That's her Raggy brother. I shit you not, her mum made this for her. So her mum was like, oh, oh, you know, uh, you need a man, so I'm just going to make you one as a joke. Then she was like, well, joke's on you, bitch. I'd like to read out this sentence. Okay. I don't know how to say her first name. Uh, Try. Start. No, try. No, give it a go. Mary Vaughan. Mary Vaughan. No. Merivioni? No. <laughs> Merivoni. Type, type of pasta, that. Merivoni. Merivoni. Let's go with Merivoni. Merivoni Rocca Moreyes, Mur- 37, <laughs> was all set to celebrate her one year anniversary with Ragdoll Marcello, but was left oh, yeah. broken hearted after a friend saw him sneaking into a hotel with another woman. Before you go any further, do you reckon they have kids? What? They've got some little raggy kids. Scroll down. Oh, I need to cheat they some, when they've got kids. I hope they've got some mutant Scroll down. half woman, half ragdoll kids. It's like, down. kill me. Oh, yeah, there it is. There. There's this wedding <laughs> ceremony. Oh my God, there's people there. She's invited people to a wedding. <laughs> Who's the fuck? What? Why, why is she dressed in scrubs? Is this like, <laughs> is this at the townhouse? <laughs> Because, like, she's in a medical place, but with a rag doll. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, that's got to be the asylum she lives in. <laughs> Surely these are both taken in her home. She's doing a speech at a wedding with a rag doll in yeah, a Yeah, well, full the husband suit. can't do it, can he? <laughs> it's meant to be well, the, it's meant to husband, the husband who does the speech. Who, is, who, is his who best... husband can do it, but they have to pull the cord on his back. <laughs> who was his best man? Yeah, Jim was his best man. <laughs> So, go on, feel free to read a bit out. Yeah. On December 18th, 2021, the smitten couple tied the knot at a wedding ceremony attended by 250 guests. Fuck off. Now, how many of those are people? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because she's the counting picture, yeah. a fucking doll as a husband. She's yeah. definitely included them in the guests. Yeah, oh, this is one of our guests, uh, fucking Detective Pikachu. <laughs> when people, when this people is... come and someone's going, uh, bride side or groom side? <laughs> do you reckon, do you reckon... fucking beanie baby getting kicked over to the groom side. Do you reckon any, do you reckon any of the guests sat on a cushion and they were like, that's the maid of honour? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so 250 guests, and it wasn't long before they welcomed their doll baby, Marcelino. 
Oh yeah, yeah, little, little Marcelo. Marcelo, yeah, yeah, in, Marcelo and Marcelino into yeah. the world. He's actually uh, in the World Cup squad for Brazil. Yeah, in a, in a home birth aided by a nurse and a doctor. There's quotation marks around home birth as and, well. Well, well, aided... and also nurse and doctor should also have quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. I can you imagine? Can you imagine the the stress that a hospital is under? Uh, we need a nurse and a doctor to go and fulfil this mental bitch's fantasies. Do you reckon she shoved that doll up her fanny? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she must have done for nine that's months. why she needs the nurse it's in A&E <laughs> she 100% shoved that up yeah. a cunt for nine months as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon yeah. I look, like, at, look at the doll's fingers they're wrinkly I like the idea that instead of her shoving the doll up her cunt she actually shoved both hands up her cunt with a needle and thread and just worked backwards <laughs> <laughs> just ate a ball of thread <laughs> No, I promise it just happened like this. <laughs> oh my oh, god. god! It wasn't long anyway before cracks appeared. Or tears, in their, yeah, yeah. A, appeared in their fairy tale. Can you believe? Yeah. Um, Mary Voni from Brazil claims she and Marcelo yeah. are now sleeping in separate rooms after she discovered he'd been cheating on her with another woman. How? Though, how though? I want to know how the cheating occurred. Devastated Minerva Rooney said, I found out through a friend who told me that she saw Marcelo entering a motel with another woman while I was hospitalized for three nights and three days with Marcelino, our son, who had a virus. Right. So what what has happened here is someone is severely mentally ill and the mirror have decided oh. to interview her. Yeah. yeah. She's she doesn't know what the fuck is happening Wait. at all. At first I thought she was lying, but then I started looking through his phone. <laughs> but I want to see his phone. <laughs> and I saw Just the this crocheted rectangle. <laughs> Which made me sure he was cheating. He kept denying reckon, everything and said he loves me very much, as well as asking for forgiveness and crying a lot. Do you reckon it's one of those phones with a face on that toddlers have <laughs> that you like drag along? <laughs> I reckon it's a tea I cozy. Asked him, I asked him who the woman was and he didn't respond. Classic, <laughs> classic Marcelo. Oh, don't give me the silent treatment. Yeah. Oh, great. Now Marcelino's crying. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many photos of him in different clothes. <laughs> How big's his wardrobe? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Although up. she initially considered chucking deceitful Marcelo out of the house completely, she agreed to let him stay for the sake of her children, Carl, Carol and Diego, and their baby, Mas. So she's got real children. Yeah, it seems to be a football fan, Diego and Marcelo, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that is a hard sell for those poor kids, isn't it? I mean, to be fair, if she chucked him out, where is he going to go? Yeah, well, the charity shop. The bin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, recycling. Give him a prize as a fair. A fair if know? there's a picture of him now, you, like, you literally... sat, out, sat outside of Sainsbury's with a sign saying, we'll work for food. You literally... He's got a little sand dog in front <laughs> to, of him. To get rid of him, you'd literally have to take him to the tip. Yeah, <laughs> you would. All right, go on up, go up, think, go up a little I bit. I wanted to uh, put him out of the house, but our baby is growing up. Hmm... Um, at this stage, he would miss his father a lot. Also, the love I feel for him made me forgive. Not completely, but I don't think I could live without my husband. I need to talk with him so he can decide once for all that he doesn't cheat anymore. And if he does one more time, I won't forgive him. Oh, he's on thin ice. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. He's got a yellow card. <laughs> what a beautiful story of forgiveness. That's heartwarming, love, that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think it's, it's a, a healthier woman, relationship than you've ever been in. A woman <laughs> with absolutely nothing wrong with her. Yeah. Uh, no mental illnesses whatsoever. Should be fine. She's just completely screwed on. Mm-hmm. I also found... What I, what I would like to say is, to all the incels out there who are angry that they can't get a woman... Take up right, knitting! Well, no, it's <laughs> definitely on you, because that <laughs> inanimate object has a wife. <laughs> Right, yeah. yeah. Sort your fucking it, shit it, out. It's like Robbie Williams yeah. when he uh, rock DJ. If you can't get a girl, but your best mate can. Wait, yeah. not, not only to go wife, that that knitted man has shagged two women. Yeah, <laughs> he's cheating on her. He's managed to commit adultery. <laughs> if you can't get one, yeah, yeah you're a loser. Come the fuck on. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, women have too high standards in men. Nope. <laughs> He's literally cloth. (laughs) They just want a man with a well-paying job. He can't move. (laughs) Imagine if that woman who he had an affair with has also got a fella, like a real fella. And so that guy, his missus cheated on him with that ragdoll. I've got one other thing to show you. And this is not an interesting story at all. 
It just made me Brilliant. laugh. It's the bottom one. Right. And it's before you click on it, it is a woman who went viral just for a random video. Uh. She's a big girl and she's, well, she's not, she's plus size, curvy, whatever, right? Fat. Yeah. yeah. She's a big fat girl. Uh, <laughs> but. <laughs> She's, she's big and she's fat and she's, she's gay. She's, she's gone viral. She's gone, she's gone viral because she's wearing a pair of pants and these pants make her tummy look like an ass. So yeah. it, it makes it look like her ass is at the front. And it's, it honestly it made me howl laughing. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> look at her, Look at that. Look at that. Honestly, if you just showed me the bottom bit and asked me which way she was walking, I wouldn't have a fucking chance. Not only does it look like like a belly look like an ass, like the bit above as well also looks like an ass. It's just like... She's just made of ass. She's She's just like 50 asses. The thing is, like, she's not like gross. She's just chosen awful clothes. She could easily look loads better than this. Yeah. It's just, they, it's just that those clothes don't fit you. Yeah, That's it. They're, they're, like, they're real bad. But I I really want to see the back of them as well. I mean, I think you are looking at it. <laughs> no, like, but it looks like it's all pushed round. Yeah. It does it's got look... a camel toe in the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than a fucking toe, mate. Right. Oh, it's my a fucking God. camel knee. Look at that. Yeah, that's that bad. is mental, isn't it? It is, yeah. And she's like... It looks like you'd have to like put in like support joists to eat her out. It's like, like you're going down an old mine. <laughs> if you draw a line down the middle, it looks like two dicks. <laughs> she, Just, uh, the lines are not helping. But the, the, the thing is, though, is she's all like, woo, body positivity, I should be able to wear what I want. Click, and click, like click. you can, and but we like, can also think it's gross. Yeah, but, oh, but yeah. when you're going to look as silly as that, yeah. we have to be able to comment. Yeah, yeah. We have to. That's what this podcast it's is It's a woman's on. body. Well, of course we get to comment on yeah. it. Yeah. Who better to comment about a woman's uh, body than three straight white gentlemen? Well, thanks for that, Gok. Two white, straight white gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, um, what do you call me? A massive fluffer? No. Nope. You're just making up new slurs now. <laughs> Whiffy, I think you said. Whiffy? No. I... Whiffy Clyro. Oh, with... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I sent a little video in. Do you want to see one of the best fights I've ever seen? Oh, yes. I love this so much. And like When I say good fight, it's not a great fight. No. It's just fun. It's a real fun fight. Okay. So, I, like your, I like your subject in this email, just to watch. Yeah. Yeah, very... You know. Normally you call me like a little pussy boy or something like that. This yeah, was just to watch. Yeah, just to watch. Thanks. We're already... Oh, uh, yeah, the fight one. Um, so this one, we need the volume on because there is... Oh, it's... Moi. 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 Tell, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell me what. You'll see in a minute. Um, so what happens here is there is a woman who is driven to a confrontation at someone else's house. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Turn the volume up. Here okay. So this woman's pulled up here. So the woman that we can see now has pulled up? No, she, she's That's at her, her house, house. That's her but there's house. another woman has just pulled up. She's wearing all the gym gear, though. She's yeah, ready yeah. for the fight. Oh, she yeah, is. she is ready. She looks like a wrestler. Oh, she's Hold brought on. a bat. She's brought a yeah. bat. Turn it up. Oh, the dog's come. It's a little Jack Russell as well. That fucking bat ain't gonna fucking help you. You hear me? That fucking bat just fucking pissed me off. You hear me? I ain't your fucking goddamn mama. You hear me? Turn around so I can see your fucking face. You fucking whore. Fucking bitch. You hear me? Turn around so I can fucking black that face. No, I got it. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I am gonna keep on. She keeps on being a bitch to everybody. Okay. I am I am calm. I'm somewhat calm. <laughs> Just pause it. <laughs> Isn't that the best? What, what I, love I am somewhat calm. <laughs> what I love about this, so for people that are audio listen to this, this is the way that I can only describe it, is it's two women fighting. Mm-hmm. One of them just turns up wearing her fucking gym gear. Mm-hmm. The other one turns up with a baseball bat, gets yeah. one swing in before the girl with the gym gear just takes her down and dominates. Yeah, it just goes, what's, that baseball bat just pissed me off. <laughs> but what's uh, also a Jack Russell comes out because yeah. Jack Russell Russell's fucking love the fight. Yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. It's just like, eh. the Jack Russell was just like, ah, this is great. <laughs> and then a guy has come out so nonchalant. Yeah. And he's, he's eating a donut. He's eating a donut or yeah. a Danish or something. And yeah. he just comes over. He's like, what's going on here? And she's like, I'm calm. It's just this woman causes shit. And the guy, he's, he's giving such, this happens all the time. A hundred percent. This ain't yeah. the first fucking incident. Yeah. Because he's like, 
come on now, calm down, stop it. And she goes, no, I am keeping on because she's been a bitch all the time. I'm calm. I'm somewhat calm. I love her reassessment of I'm calm. I'm somewhat calm. <laughs> yeah. She's like, all right, I'm not fully calm. I there's, get that. There's a smidgen of calm. Somewhat. If ever, I am a mite calm. If ever there was a woman that deserved a Jack Russell as a pet, it yeah. is this fucking crazy bitch. Yeah, I fucking love her. Go on, like, carry on. Let's see. We've got 20 seconds left. Yeah. Go on. Tell me it's fucking warped! Fuck off of me, Sam. Tell me it's fucking warped! Sam. Like, tell, tell me your ass me is warped. Tell me it's warped and I'll get up! <laughs> the tell guy just walks it's up. It's warped! Yeah. <laughs> it ain't warped or you're fucking saying! You hear me? You hear me? Fuck! Alright, get the fuck off! I ain't heard you fucking saying! Get off. Are you warped? Sure, get off. Are I'll you tell what? you what. Warped? I'll... Warped. warped. Is I'll your ass you, warped? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. That, more than any other video I've ever seen, goes to show how fucking stubborn women are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's getting her ass kicked. She's on top of her. She's got her back. She's holding her hair. Because she is punching her face and she's still like, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you lost the fight with a baseball bat. Yeah, and she lost it so early on. Yeah, the yeah, fight yeah. should have been stopped after like the third punch. Tell it was me, one-sided. Yeah. Tell me your ass is whooped. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not doing that because it's not really whooped. No. Yeah. I think I can still win this. I'll be honest, when it goes to the judges, I think the scorecards are going to be pretty heavily one way. <laughs> they could, honestly, they could give her that back back and yeah. start that ten times over and the same thing would happen it's every time. It's the swing time. with the bat is so ineffectual. If you don't look yeah. at it like at the start of it, did you close it, you fucking so, nut? So we finished watching I'll it. Tell you, yeah, but we might want to go back. Yeah, Just exactly. leave it there for a minute. It's, right, it's, why are you being fucking quick draw McGraw we over it? It's fucking... you more than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's Carragher and Neville Monday Night Football. Yeah, exactly. We want to draw a little arrow around so, it. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you the problem with this, uh -huh. right? Is the girl who uh, is in the the leggings, the gym work? Uh -huh. She she's prison. She has come she for a fight hard and as she's fuck come her. before. She, this this ain't her first scrap. This, this other girl thought that a bat would be enough, right? and that's game over. And, yeah, and yeah. when the woman went forward, yeah. she had no idea what to do. Yeah. A smarter person would have stepped back. Yeah. Also, she's ready. holding it stupidly. Look, and she throws it with one arm. Yeah. yeah. She, she only well, has one hand on it. Look at and she just gets taken down instantly. I love Like, I, it's good wrestling. The way I, I she think, throws yeah, it I think down. she's a wrestler. I think that's what it like is. Like that, because that throw to get her down and then just dominate off top. It's like, it's good technique. She's what do you reckon the fight was about? Blows. Uh, I don't know. I reckon they had different uh, interpretations of Proust. <laughs> <laughs> I think their book club really got out of hand this week. <laughs> uh, it's that like guy with do It's amazing how he just wanders out. Like He's definitely just like having his breakfast and he's like, oh, fucking hell again. And then he just goes, all right, you're somewhat calm. That's good I, enough for me. And I, just leaves. I want to see... I don't actually want to see the fight. I want to see the I rest want to of see, this, though. No, no, no. I want to see the camera on the guy who comes out. So I like the idea that he's in his kitchen uh, just eating his donut, and he just hears, uh, and he goes, ah, oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> he walks, Pops he, his slippers on. And he goes, oh, the dogs are ready out. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. I just want to eat my donut. Yeah, I really want to. See, I, I want it to carry on this as well. I also want to see the full resolution. I want to see her slinking off, defeated. Yeah. I want to see if she takes another wild swing when she gets let up. You know, like the the end of it is fraught, isn't it? I would like to see the one who drives away. Her phone, her next phone call, <laughs> and her excuse of what happened because she probably doesn't know that this has been filmed. No. It's absolutely gutting if you lose a fight this badly to have it filmed. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is... Uh, it's. It, I mean, even when you look there, look how fed up and just... This is how she's much... Just she's just lying on the floor. This, like, is, this is how much... You might be wondering how I got here. <laughs> this is... <laughs> See that? That's me. Yeah. <laughs> I know I don't look, look like much now, but let me tell you, it was a crazy day. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you how much she was losing this fight. The woman afforded to have a 30-second chat with her husband. Yeah, yeah, and She literally totally stopped and went, me. no, it's all right. All right, while she's on top of someone else, yeah. she's like, no, I'm somewhat calm. It's like when home... <laughs> it's like when, That's the point where you try and get out. It's, it's, like like, when, it's like when Homer fights Dredrick Tatum. Yeah, yeah. And then they just have a little chat with the audience. Yeah. And they go, break it up, break it up. Yeah, uh, yeah that was a fucking twatting. It's great, isn't it? Have you sent another one? Uh, well? um, oh, can I, I close the video now, please, Rob? You have permission. Thank you. But we should watch it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is um, like I know, like Elon must be getting a lot of shit Who? at the moment. Um, he's a he's a man from South Africa. And Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I used to own PayPal. 
do not ask me about immigration. <laughs> so, do you know what's really funny? Speaking of the PayPal, uh, yeah. sorry, speaking of the Twitter thing, yeah. did you see that a uh, pharmaceutical company uh, lost billions yeah. because of Twitter? Did it's you happened see to, it happened to Lockheed Martin as well. It's happened to a yeah. few companies. So, yeah. so uh, that, the Twitter, co- the, the Twitter pharmaceutical people, the, the pharmaceutical company that makes the Twitter in- pharmaceutical people. Shut up! The pharmaceutical company that makes in- isn't that an REM song. <laughs> Twitter pharmaceutical people. I don't even know what you're trying right. to parody. So I've got a song called Shiny Happy People. Is that REM? Yeah. Oh. Look at him learning. Right, okay. The only <laughs> REM song I know well, is Well you know you know too. Okay, yeah, but up until ten seconds ago, yeah. the only REM the only REM song I know is that's great. It starts with an earthquake. Hey, in the hurricane. Da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, right. ba, ba, Losing my religion, you yeah. want some of that? Man on the moon. If you believe the they put, put a man, man on, on the moon. Oh, I know that one. Man on the moon. Great film as well, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've uh, got loads you'll know. I know that, yeah. Losing my religion, you definitely yeah, know. Yeah, Go yeah. on. I don't know. <sighs> Neither of you Losing two. That's me in, in the corner. corner. That's me in the spot. Light losing my religion. I've never heard of that one before. That is mental. You've never heard that song before. You definitely, you will have done. It's just not clocked. It's like it's, it's one of the. It's a very. Is it just you two butchering it? The sidewinder sleeps tonight. That's yeah, a good one. one. So anyway, yeah. back to pharmaceutical companies. No, let's list REM songs. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, the one that makes insulin. Yeah. Uh, somebody uh, bought Twitter Blue, bought a fake yeah. t- Twitter handle. And got the fucking verified and said, uh, we are making insulin free from now on. Yeah. And they literally, you can see a graphic of their stock price just go woof like that. Yeah. It's mad. It's fucking great. Like, what a great eight quid, whoever spent that fucking top work oh, to you. They, apparently, they were saying that they'll have lost billions yeah, off the stock. Yeah, and good, because they're fucking cunts. Because like they massively jack up the price of insulin in America, despite the inventor uh, uh, giving the patent away for free because he wanted to cure people. No beds. Yeah, if, well, maybe if the uh, creator had been a little bit smarter, we wouldn't have had this problem. Yeah, we would have done like we do with literally every other drug. Mm, well, yeah. maybe your body should learn to produce it on its own. I don't know if I would be the one who is mocking diabetics if I were you, Freddie. <laughs> Shut up and so, let me have my so kind of Pepsi I'm, Max. I'm only pre-diabetic. <laughs> If you I think gonna... I probably am, but yeah. at the point where I have diabetes, I'll worry about it then. Right. And I'll you know, just... it's a lot easier to deal with if you stop it before you have it. Like global warming. Sure. <laughs> but sure. your body. Like, I'm just going to be a little posh girl throwing stuff on paintings until you have a diet. I'm going to stick my head to Naked Martin's picture over there until you go and lose some fucking weight. Uh, right. So anyway, like I know to, he's been getting a lot of shit about Twitter anyway, Elon. Yeah. But at least uh, Tesla cars are really good. Uh, need sound for this one, or yeah, yeah, I think we can do. I don't know if there's sound on this. Oh, no, we don't need it. Um, here's a Tesla go for a little drive on autopilot. Was oh, this on autopilot? Yeah, the autopilot jammed on and would not turn off. Oh, wow. He's wow, that making is it. fast. Yeah. Oh, he's knocked someone over there. That was, they were trying to use the parking button to park and it just started endlessly accelerating. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, daddy, that was bad. Yeah. What country is that in? Not a great one. Yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's loads of Teslas there. <laughs> I'm going to say Bolivia. Right, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a, quite a cocaine energy to that car. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wild, that, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that they is... just don't really work yet. No? Yeah. Mm. Well, more fool you for buying one. I haven't, and I wouldn't. I mean, more fool oh, the, them. them for yeah. buying one. You, well, never buy, you never buy the first iteration of technology, do you? That's nah, you, I, like, I'm going to wait a while before I get a driverless car. Let the first couple of generations get through. Exactly. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. no one bought fucking Google Glass for a bit. Yeah, the first iPod wasn't great, you know, comparatively to where they got to now. You know? Exactly. You, you the first to, mobile phone, shit. You have to wait for a few. That I'm thinking about this with foldable phones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I just don't get the point of it. I don't care. Like yeah, you know, it gimmick. used to be a good thing when you just yeah. went them small, but now you goes really in my ask. pocket fine. Couldn't it's give a gimmicky shit. as fuck. I like, remember right a day, and not to get all Peter K about it, but I remember back in the day, yeah. every time there was a new phone, it changed the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they standardised to just being black rectangles. But now they, they they don't even try anymore. Well, now yeah. Oh right, our last our last phone had telephoto zoom. 
But this one has hyper telephoto yeah. zoom. Whereas you used to be able to zoom a hundred times, now you can zoom a hundred and twenty times. Brand new phone, thousand pounds. It's because there's not like that many more useful features you can add. You know, so they're battery. Not, they hold just stuff improve that, battery. Well, this is it. Like just make the batteries uh, replaceable would be huge. Like you know, yeah. that would be a, a yeah. massive benefit. But tech companies are cunts, aren't they? Like the, I'd pay double for a phone if I never had to buy another phone. Yeah, but like that's it's it's not happening. I was thinking about this the other day. In fact, it, it wasn't the other day; it was years ago. So but, stand up the other day. But <laughs> I was talking about this with a friend of mine. Right? Is people are so uh, committed to technology? If they brought out a phone, right, and it was the best phone at everything, you're talking the best camera, the yeah. best. Tra- and it lasted, charging-wise, it lasted a month. Fine, no problem. But the way that you charged it is you put one end into the phone and the other end you had to bend over and just shove it up your ass. Yeah. And you had to bend over with the phone up your ass for 20 minutes. Yeah. I reckon everyone would have one. It'd be the biggest yeah. telephone in the world. Just be the biggest cell- and do you know what as well? Is in the beginning, everyone would go, I'm not doing that. And then there'd be a few Instagram influencers yeah, yeah. bent over the bed with the, the charger cap- rammed up their anuses. Now they'd have a white cable coming out of their ass. It'd become a status symbol. Be, you see people yeah. on the tube with the fucking ca- like cable dangling out. <laughs> It'd become a fucking thing. Yeah, like little tails. Yeah. Like little tails. Yeah. And we would, within a year, everyone would fucking yeah, have I'd one. I'd just do it like I'd charge my phone now when I'm asleep. Yeah. Put it no, in my ass. No, no, you have to be awake. You have to be awake. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd lie in bed for 20 minutes and then I'd go to sleep. I mean, it sounds nice. Like putting things up your bum's great. Like, you know, let's go. No, I know, but it's just, it's, it's yeah. so, we're so reliant on technology. Oh, 100%. Like with the, with the, like the new Tesla things, the one that creeps me out the most is the Neuralink, you know, that he's trying to put into like monkeys. What's that? That's like a thing that I would never get. And if you are ever going to get, wait a while. What's the Neuralink? So the Neuralink, they're trying to put chips in brains that means you can control, like interact with technology through just thought. Yeah, no. And basically what Elon Musk has done is uh, really horribly torture loads of monkeys to death they've just had like horrific deaths not us because like you turn a chip on in their brain and it just spazzes them out and it's sort of like they just end up just instant like dying really quickly writhing in agony is there horrific is there anywhere we we can watch that probably if if that if that happened in a zoo oh my god if there was a zoo where you could like instantly kill the animals (sighs) What? Well, yeah. Are, are you shocked the vegetarian wouldn't love that option? Imagine, I think what you mean is hunting. Yeah. Um, no, but imagine being in like a zoo, but you get to press a button and electric shock an elephant. Is that not funny? <laughs> is that not really Make funny? Make a penguin's head explode. <laughs> oh my God, I would pay. Papa penguin. <laughs> yeah, you made the penguin's head explode. There's a joke inside. <laughs> 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 oh my god uh, yeah I'd, I'd fucking yeah no like, you wouldn't go at that zoo surprisingly no like I don't I don't, I don't know why you I think I would like. I don't eat bacon why would I want to pop a penguin I'd what probably about, go depending on how expensive thank you. it was thank you what yeah. about if it was like 100 quid but you got to like whip a pole of Whip a polar bear. I don't know why I'm saying how masochistically torturing a polar bear. You always have to make it kinky. Yeah, <laughs> a little polar bear in a gimp mask and a little a little ball <laughs> gag. <laughs> like that. Yeah, no. Take us to the sex dungeon that we went to. Yeah. No? Uh, sorry, I was just listening to someone drill next yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is drilling occurring, if you can hear it, Soz. Uh, um, Rob's mum's in the building. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't enjoy that. Would now. you not? No. What about if you just got to kick a tortoise? <laughs> you just so there was a there's a no. little tortoise. It's not what I want to do with a tortoise. They, they stood it up, yeah. right? Rugby so posts. So it's, <laughs> no. Oh, mate, no, so, I want to curl a tortoise. So, no, 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 no. Right, I want, I want a broom. No, I want an ice ring. I want to. <laughs> no, you, you're not allowed to do that. That's horrible. Uh, so what you do is you They're stand, blooded. you stand the tortoise up. No, I think like discus, that, and you just get to, you just get to kick it <laughs> on its soft tummy. And fly right. it. Animal Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. What animals are we using for each sport? Right. Uh, a dead snake for the javelin. No, no, it has to be like a frozen snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's got rigor mortis. Oh, right. Okay. Dead yeah, snake yeah, for yeah, the javelin. Good one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, a tortoise discus is obviously. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Shot put. Mm. Um, you need a dense ball. What are those? Hedgehog. Little- a hedgehog moment. Hedgehog. Like. Yeah, but that'd hurt like fuck, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an aardvark, maybe they're curl up Armadillo. Armadillo. Armadillos, that's yeah, what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Armadillo. Yeah, yeah. Quite um, good. What else is the hurdles? Yeah. Um, 
like a kangaroo would do no. that. But are we talking about the no, animal two, the herd? two flamingos stuck together with their legs <laughs> welded together. Just one leg out. Well, like that. One leg yeah. welded with the other <laughs> leg. <laughs> <laughs> what, so you're getting soldering iron? Yeah. Like fucking welded them together. <laughs> yeah, so welded flamingos yeah. for yeah. that, sure. I welded don't... giraffes for the pole vault. Oh, you've got to get on a penguin to do the bobsleigh. Mm, skeleton bob for a penguin. Skeleton They're not big bob, enough yeah, for maybe. a full bobsleigh, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, sea, like sea lion. Yeah, like a, a uh, yeah, maybe a walrus even. Yeah, you know, because yeah. then you've got brakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're telling me, in all honesty, that you wouldn't watch any of this. I might, but I'd feel very sad about it. <laughs> I would have bets on it. That's yeah. how much I'd enjoy it. Oh, yeah, I'd enjoy that, yeah. Have you got any lovely questions? Have I got any lovely questions? Yes, is the answer. We've got a lovely question. Graphic, because you didn't like the last one. Well, we you just didn't, didn't one. do one last time. Yeah, that's exactly lazy what I meant. Cunt. just missed it. Yeah. Okay. You go, you're <laughs> my favourite like miss said my it. Favorite, oh, it. just lied. He goes, oh, yeah, just, my, that's what I meant. My favourite lovely question graphic was when um, he did one with nothing there and he was like, it's Rob's dad. And it was yeah. very funny, but retrospectively, you could tell that he just couldn't be asked to do one. Yeah. No, no, I, I did think about it. <laughs> All right, oh, okay. bollocks. Bollocks. Right, here's a lovely question. Right, Should we play we it again? Because yeah, 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 yeah. there's a sound on that one. And okay. we wanna, everyone loves the graphic. Tom's lovely question. Oh, isn't that lovely? Is it Eric Jamtana you've got there? No. So what what is there is there is a jar, a jar of jam and Eric Cantona. Oh, not just that. Some. Oh, I just thought that was part of the graphics. So no, there's some question marks. Some as question well. marks as well. Right. So we got Eric mm. Jam. And what we have? To, what what are we guessing? What is it? A person, a place? It's a famous person today. It's okay. a tough one today. I think it's going to frustrate you. Jameric. Jameriquai. Jameriquai. I've got it. I've got it. I've got why. Jam Eric Y. <sighs> I told you you'd be frustrated. Fuck's sake. I'm annoyed that I've got that. Jameric why? Clever, though. Jameric it? why? Clever, isn't it? No, it's not clever. Clever is not the word for that, Tom. No, no, no. Clever isn't the clever word. Clever is not the what word. Is the word? Uh, like if if like if like you had like, you know, if you had if your mate had a kid that had like some sort of learning difficulties and they came up and went, look, jam Eric Y, you'd go, very clever. Yeah, yeah. That's very why, clever. That's why I made it, because you've got those yeah. learning difficulties. ADHD yeah. is a learning difficulty, right? Yeah, of sorts, yeah. yeah. But uh, it turns out it was useful for getting this fucking thing. <laughs> point proven. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Tom on this. He's made a very good point. <laughs> okay. We got yeah. some, we're, 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 we're not doing numbers anymore. Right. We're just going through him. Okay. Okay, first question. So hang about. You've you've made a little table here on Google Sheets. Yeah, I love yeah. to, and you have to two, make a fucking spreadsheet. There's two, yeah. there's two, he loves a spreadsheet, doesn't he? There's two columns, dark and silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My, my plan is that we're going to have one dark one and one silly one every time. Do you reckon that's your plan? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you're right. I wonder why, why else would you have separated them? Yeah. I don't know, just vibe in it. Vibe, okay. Most of these are brought in Should we have by a, fans now. a dark one first and then a silly one or a silly one Let's and then a dark one? Let's go dark first. Okay. This is from The Return of Bollock Obama, who I believe has sent <laughs> us one before. I think Bollock Obama has. I recognise the name. If you could oh, go back in time and kill one child, which one would you pick? Not Hitler. Mm. Um, Freddy. Rob's sister. <laughs> what? Like when? When are you killing her? Uh, when are you born? Early enough to give me a sub story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, like, cool. like uh, early enough that you've made a bond with her. Yeah. But um, actually, shit, yeah, because I want it to be maximum sad, and she she wouldn't yeah. be a child by that point. Yeah. Mm, that's a good question. Mm. Who else am I killing? That's not like related to anyone in this room. Uh, oh, there's so Kill many. One child. Like, there's, there's so many that are tempting that just you know you can just remove someone from the earth. I mean, that's, in, that's... in my head, I'm thinking, baby penguin. <laughs> what could I do if Dwight York owed me a favor? Uh huh. So what? Uh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you're taking on a challenge. I'd go for one that as wasn't as he, strong. As to if be he's going to gonna find you. out that you killed his son, he's going to go. Thanks, Freddie. I owe you one. I think he genuinely really would do because he doesn't see it or interact or whatever. I don't think he's. I don't think he's the sort of guy who's going to like you know do you a favor in return though. No, he doesn't like that. If you ever need a kid killing, just ask. Also, as well, I don't think I'd be able to. I think it'd be like uh, in the animated film Hercules when the two snakes try and. uh... Yeah. Corden is a big shout. Like just wiping out James Corden. I reckon like smothering him with a pillow as an infant would be really satisfying. Yeah. I think I'd really enjoy that. Um, but I do like Rob Bryden, and Rob Bryden has a lot to owe Gavin and Stacey. 
Yeah. I think Gavin and Stacey would be fine without that big fat cunt. What, the writer? Well, I mean, yes. well... Uh, the writer she, and creator. Well, no, well, no, 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 no. Co-writer. Yeah. So, thinking with you, April, what's her tits? Yeah. Yeah. Ruth Jones. What? Ruth Jones. Ruth Jones is the co-writer, and James Corden is a co-writer. But the thing about co-writers is you don't know how much they co-wrote. Yeah, until you see them write other things, and then you go, oh. I see. <laughs> Whereas, I see. Zombie lesbian vampires. <laughs> Yeah, perhaps you weren't the genius one was led to believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe. I'm trying to think of somebody that's genuinely done something evil. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Putin. We'll get rid of Putin. No. All right, no. Oh, no, Just no. Takes no. Ukrainians. Whoever invented smoking. Whoever invented smoking. Yeah, get rid of them. Like, so you're going back to like some like Native American or something, thousands of years. It's oh, been yeah. around a long time. Then I time. might not exist. They're my people. Yeah. <sighs> Marcella Bielsa would be a shout. That'd be so sad. Be so sad. That'd get rid of any happiness for you. Yeah, Leeds would still be in the championship and I'd still be sad. <laughs> <laughs> Marcel would be also be. Yeah, it's like the one good thing I've had for 20 years is following Leeds United. <laughs> yeah. What's really funny about this is that Alex Ferguson, actually. Fuck me. Oh, that oh be that'd be great. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. All right, we'll leave managers alone. Oh, we'll no, leave... right. I'm getting rid of Fergie. That's great. We'll leave managers alone. We'll leave managers alone. Don't get rid of Fergie. Yeah, you might have been in the Europa League once if we'd got rid of Fergie. <laughs> You know how like man you are now? That would have been it forever. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. The nineties would have been so much nicer for me if Fergie had been dead. <laughs> I would have had such a better time. Do you know what, Rob? That's really selfish. Uh-huh. Because you could have got rid of whoever did nine eleven. Yeah. Oh, it was Fergie. A second nose is in the towers. Second nose is in the towers. I'll tell you what, when he took over the cockpit, he gave such an impassioned speech to the passengers. He actually just kicked a bottle into building four. That's how it went down. (laughs) (laughs) Building was wearing a headband the next day. Just gave it the hairdryer and it blew down. It was was a very extreme version of the hairdryer treatment. It's like, I don't think there's enough time for another tower to go down. Hold on, the referee's given him seven minutes stoppage time. What's going on here? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Alex Ferguson is my pick. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, Rob's (laughs) mum. He's killing her as a child as well, so I just never exist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because right. two can play that game. Yeah. Okay. Plus, it'd save your dad a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was that much trouble for him, to be honest. I didn't feel like it was a yeah. lot of effort. <laughs> save, save your dad having to pack a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Saves him a bit of a drive. Cut out the middle, man. <laughs> Literally oh, cut out God. the middle. I love the idea of meeting him be like... Nice one, son. You've really saved me having to pack a duffel in 20. (laughs) Getting that flat was murder. (laughs) Uh, What's the silly question? Uh, Would you rather have a cat-sized human head or a human-sized cat head? (laughs) So, wait, 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 wait. So you've either got a tiny head, but it's yours. Yeah, it's like Carl Donnelly's poster at Edinburgh a few years ago. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, or... It's the same size it is now, but it's a cat's head. The first one? Mm. Really? Like a tiny little head? Yeah. Oh, With the sort look- of like damaged women you like, though, having a cat head could really work out for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it got a rough little tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I, could re- I could easily see you on, on all fours lapping up a bowl of milk. Actually, yeah. do you know what? It's a conversation I've, starter as well. I've, I've changed my mind. Yeah. Human sized cat head. Yeah, big fat furry. <laughs> Old furry Quinn over here. Furry. Mate, you'd kill at furry conventions. You would fucking destroy. You'd be sleeping with so many fucking weird mingers. You'd be loving it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you sold me on sleeping with but weird But no mingers. one fancies the little tiny-headed man, like uh, men in black. <laughs> Can you imagine if I had a tiny head as well, yeah, with the size of me, <laughs> you with like, like a tiny little pinhead? You look like a pencil. Yeah. <laughs> I'd look like that guy off Popeye. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's one, yeah. there's one guy with like big long arms, like a little <laughs> head on Popeye. Oh, mate, if you had tiny little, if you had a tiny little head, you should definitely wear red socks. Yeah, so it looked like a little rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Pencil. Um, yeah. That used to be when I was on Tinder. That used to be my opening question to everyone. What? How big's your head? <laughs> no, it's weird. The cat-sized human head, human head-sized cat head. Did you meet your other half? Right, Tinder. Tinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she responded to this and that formed a relationship yeah, yeah, that you're now getting married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the beginning. Because 
Are you trying to fuck me? <laughs> Is this what's happening right now? I just think it's a good question. I remembered it the other day when I asked it for a while. Uh, I feel it, like we're getting hit on. <laughs> well, it was a good filter on Tinder because if you ask that question, it doesn't really matter what they say as long as they get He's involved. trying to get a conversation going. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Above. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's like Christ above. Yeah. I've not felt like Tom was trying to fuck us this much since he asked for a third of the podcast. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. Uh, uh, no, I uh, I would go for a human sized uh, cat head. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know if I can. I don't know. I don't know. I don't so know. you're going for a tiny little pinhead? <sighs> Might have to. Tiny little pinhead. I think having a cat rather than a giant, gorgeous, luscious cat. Well, either way, I've got to throw my hat collection out, haven't I? Like you know, like neither of them are working. Yeah. yeah. You know. Well, yeah, but uh, right, Kate, okay, it would look less weird for a cat to be wearing a baseball hat. How do you keep it on, though? The ears get in the way. You can't put it over the top. Yeah, uh, tie it underneath the bottom like Australians. Right. So tie it at the bottom you... so it doesn't fall off during a rapey do <laughs> You wouldn't have to worry about your receding head- hairline as much. Thanks, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not worried about it now. <laughs> okay. uh, you know, I accept it for what it is, mate. So, you know, it's not a big deal for me. I'll just have a tiny little receding hairline. <laughs> tiny <laughs> I just I don't think I can get past how funny I'd look with a tiny head and like in my line of work that's fucking good for me. Yeah, there's a lot. You know? I think there's a lot oh, of material I'm sorry. either way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You'd look less funny with a tiny head than you would as a giant cat. I think the little head's funnier. Like Carl Donnelly's poster where he's got a little head is the funniest comedy poster I've ever seen. <sighs> it's a tiny. It just uh, a few years ago at Edinburgh, he just photoshopped his head to be dead tiny. Yeah, and it's so simple, and it just made me laugh every time I saw it. And uh, you know, yeah, but I, I think I think that, you'd laugh less if it was your life yeah imagine it, sunglasses imagine yeah. eating mate I could get kids sunglasses it'd be so cheap no it's way smaller than kids sunglasses yeah. a little cat head it's like this big yeah, like little, you can get little, baby sunglasses little baby sunglasses yeah I get little baby sunglasses Babes. think about how hard it'd be to eat because you've got like a little tiny mouth it's Sorry, like you eat spaghetti <laughs> Like that. You just eat spaghetti. Well, I'd have to, mate. I've got a tiny little head. So I'm here eating all the fucking sheba I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're licking up spaghetti for the rest of your fucking life. Yeah, I think I'd have to my tiny little head. I think, I think I'm You've going to You've made the wrong head. choice. I think I've made the... Live by it. I think I'll look funny. I think I'll look funny. And that'll be funny. I think, you get, I think you get annoyed a bit. Like, I think I get annoyed with a fucking cat head, mate. I think either way, it's not ideal, is it? Like, if there's a third option, keep my current head. I'm obviously taking that. But it's not the oh, fucking what, game, is it? What a game that'd be. Yeah. Would you rather have a cat-sized human head or a human-sized cat head or keep your current yeah. head? It's like, a human-sized human oh, head. Man. It's like you're an... Oh, in, man. It, oh, this is really putting the yeah. cat amongst the pigeons. What a good conversation starter, Tom, with yeah. your lovely question. It's like you're an inch inside your mum and your dad's an inch inside you. Do you uh, push forwards, backwards, or ask them both to leave? <laughs> Do you know what? That'd be so funny. Fun. Imagine if you'd have done that as your chat up line with a dating question. <laughs> like, what would you rather do? Sweat mayonnaise or not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd be going sweat mayo, to be fair, wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, you'd be like, fucking brilliant. Rub some bread on me. <laughs> Never a dry sandwich again. <laughs> now all I need is tuna. I'm taking Hellman's down. <laughs> Uh, Us cats fucking love tuna. Now, I'm having a tiny little head for the laugh. Okay, yeah. Good. Just for a laugh. For them lols. Yeah, just for the lols, mate. I'm committed to the lols. Mm. Just think, mate, with and it. if you're committed to the lols, why not check us out on tour? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking awful. Right. Uh, Don't be so annoyed every time you're trying to promote you. You do need to promote this tour. Yeah, no, we're going on tour. Come see it. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, that's going to sell all the tickets, isn't it? I just thought we could do it a little smoother than that, you know? How do you want to do it? Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking, right on our my, I'm thinking my name, nice and big, Freddie Quinn is going on tour, uh-huh. and then really tiny, plus Rob Mulholland, but you don't have to watch that. Yeah, right. But plus support. Yeah, plus, <laughs> plus support TBC. <laughs> oh, mate, if we can do... I, that's you do you know two what? different posters. Right. Whilst, one, whilst one, that's funny, we do want people to come. <laughs> so let's, you know, let's chill. <laughs> we don't want the three people who prefer Freddie to come. They're the worst ones. Uh, and how many people prefer you? Most of them, mate. 
let us know. Let's not do that poll. I don't think either of us want to see the results. Bummed or unbummed. Because the problem is, they'll all vote for Tom. (laughs) Which is why I deserve a third of the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Uh, Uh, Yeah, we are going on tour. We should briefly speak about that. We are going on tour, yeah. Uh, So we're going on tour soon. We're going to be going on tour in May. Uh, I wish I could tell you exactly when, but we haven't totally confirmed the dates as of yet. But the second that we know, you'll know. No. Yeah, and please do come support this because uh, uh, we're working with some people who have taken a big swing on us. Basically, they don't need us. They don't need us. They really don't need us. And like so we would like to prove that we can sell some tickets. We're so they, working uh, with glided. a company called SJM who provide tour tickets and stuff, and it's the same people that are doing Peter Kay's tour yeah. that sold out in half a second, yeah. and he sold a million tickets. Yeah, so we're and hoping to do what, similar. I'll tell you what, we are going to bring them back down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> do people like Jay-Z and Beyonce like yeah. world tours that's yeah. who's opening for us <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're the TBC are they yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay-Z is going to sing his hit song 99 Problems uh-huh. that uh, is one of his yes and Empire and what other, what other? of New York yeah Empire of New York yeah that's another one next one um mm, it's Empire State of Mind but yeah uh, no I was talking about a different song that was oh, on yeah. the, uh, the B side of his first album what was his first album called Oh, it's straight out of the <laughs> ghetto. Straight out of the ghetto by Jay Z. Also, that was on the B side of his album, was it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just checking. Yeah, the album had a B side, did it? Had twelve tracks that weren't good yeah, enough. The yeah. album. Yeah, you know, B sides only on a single, mate. Uh... It's because they would have one song on one side, and then that was the A side, and then on the B side they'd have another song. On an album, you've got songs on all of it. If you love great chat like this, then you're going to yeah. love the tour. Yeah. Let's say about my uncle. He um, raped you. No, 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 no. So just my, guess. So my my with an eclair. So my uncle it's consensual. My uncle is actually he's. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't rape. Yeah, I was, was just legal. Age. We were making love. No, no. So my uncle is um, a paedophile. No, who bombed you? Stop! Stop interrupting because you'll find the story interesting. He is um, big bobber. An expert big fat big fat on, gay. He's a big um, fat gay. He's an expert on, on... bombing kids because he's a big fat gay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> he's an expert on uh, wasps. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather be a paedophile. <laughs> no, he's a he's a wasp expert. And so, what do you do, Mister Gwynn? Well, the, uh, a wasp expert. Well, 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 well <laughs> it's funny that you should mention it actually, because he um, <laughs> I, it, it, he uh, this was when cassettes were out. He was the head of some university. I can't remember in like the fucking bug department whatever <laughs> like and he, he he bought a cassette of wasp noises and didn't recognize any of them and then he took it back to hmv and he was like what the fuck's going on here and they went oh that was the b-side oh. <laughs> actually i don't want that third now thanks <laughs> i think i think this is um the last episode to be honest with you mate <laughs> just and for more great jokes like that, come and see us on tour. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. It's unreal, isn't it? <sighs> That's the end of the episode. No, you see- <laughs> Please don't end it like that. He fought so hard to get that out as well. (laughs) There's so many times where he could have just gone, you know what, I'm not doing that. (laughs) You really stuck by it. Really (gasps) dug in. (sighs) Oh, that was so worth it. Anyway, what were we talking about? I don't know anymore. I don't care. Right, let's end the episode. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> no, we're, we're stopping like that. I'm well, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Is there a way of topping it? Well, uh, yes, doing literally <laughs> anything else. <laughs> well, so tell them about Patreon. I can't be asked anymore. I'm upset with you. Well, why are you mad Plug, at me? Because you've done that. What? Sorry, a good Plug solid pa- joke. A good solid joke. Is that what we're claiming that is? I, well, look, I led you all down the garden path. 
Yeah. And then and I, what was at the end of it? Thought, what was the end of it? A you, big pile of liquid shit is what it was. It went, look at my big pile of shit. And then we're men to go, oh, brilliant. Thanks for the walk. <laughs> Let's that's what we're going to do. We? Yeah. Oh, that's us done with our little walk for the day. You've shown us a big pile of steaming liquid shit with tampons floating in it. And now I'm fu- meant to be fucking happy about it. Have we got a video like that? <laughs> I think we probably yeah. do somewhere. Uh, if you, if you, can you sign up to Patreon so I can afford a better yeah. co-host? <laughs> uh, Patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod. Uh, for that, <coughs> you get um, an extra episode every single week. You get access to all of our extra content and specials that we make, such as the Sex Dungeon special, such as Rob's Punishment set, such as the uh, Hardcore Death Match I think wrestling. he might be getting a punishment set for that fucking joke. I think that was very funny. Right. Let us know in the comments if you think that was funny or if you think it was like being sat next to your uncle at a wedding in that it felt like a rape. <laughs> by the time this comes out as well, our wrestling special is probably out. Oh, yeah, it probably so is. So watch now. that. But if it's not out yet, then watch it don't, later. Don't watch it yet. <laughs> watch it later. Uh, but it will be out either soon or now. It's really good. Yeah, and also nice so you one. get access yeah. to all the <laughs> Smooth videos. Smooth plug as ever. <laughs> Sake. If it's out, watch it. If it's not out, yeah. don't. It's a wonder we don't make more money, isn't it? <laughs> you get shitloads for your fucking extra three quid. You can actually give us more if you want. You can give us a tenner. You can give us a hundred quid if you're a real fucking spoffeth. But, uh, yeah, by signing up, you get to help support the podcast. And all the money that we make at the moment gets reinvested back into the show. and In make child it better. Slaves. You might notice how much better fucking Tom's camera looks. Look how nice he looks. Yeah. Look how beautiful he looks. Yeah. That's because we spent 500 quid on that fucking camera. More than... 600? Mm. 700? Yeah, probably a bit more than that with the lens as well. Jesus! Yeah. That is a waste of money to see me. Yeah. Exactly. Think about how little you want to see him and how much we fucking spent. Imagine how big the zoom's got to be. All because that light behind him was a bit annoying. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, so we spent loads of money on the camera to make it look nicer. Yeah, and this is why we need your support because we are not great at financially... We've, we're so bad at financial decisions. Like every month I'm like, oh no, next month we'll make some money because we won't have to spend as much. And then we're coming like, I've had an idea for spending loads of money. It's like, fuck! <laughs> yeah. Well, what's really weird is that we are very much the uh, least beneficiaries of success for this podcast. Uh-huh. Because whenever this podcast grows, we spunk more money yeah. into it, and yeah. we end up with uh, essentially less... Yeah, it's like it's, it feels like crypto, our stake in this. It's like, theoretically, we have something of value, but oh, I've never oh, seen any of this, it. This podcast is a single board Ape NFT. Yeah. I mean, our, <laughs> spe- our specials have literally, we've spent money to hurt each other. <laughs> Physic- physical we, harm. We have spent hundreds of pounds on costumes and zero pounds on ourselves. I know. I know. We've gone to places that have weapons to hurt us with. And it's like every time it's like but we could get some funny costumes <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, that is it well we could give ourselves some money or we could do this stupid fucking yeah thing. or we could do a, we could do a visual gag that lasts five seconds let's go <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's why we want you to sign up because help to support us because no podcast goes further in spunking your money than we do yeah 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 like you know no podcast is as irresponsible with your cash we guarantee that we will never make a sound financial choice as long as we fucking live we that's like, dead like, men it's guarantee like, it's, it's like our John Lewis like never knowingly undersold yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> never knowingly underspent <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for listening we'll see you next week go fuck yourself you big cunt